Getting back into sand casting here, I've got a couple of projects. One of them is going to be these guys. These are a little 3D printed hardware project, and we've got a series of different sizes and textures and variations here. Going to be a testing sample set to choose which model or version we're going to go with. So um, because of these parts don't have a flat edge and I didn't make a split pattern, it's just a solid piece. I need to get them on a flat plane to do one side of the mold and then we'll flip it over and do the other side. But I also want to get the boss on top for a feeder so we can pour into that instead of messing up our nice disc shape on this side. And I'm going to try something else new here too. I got a bigger sieve with bigger mesh here to see if we can get some of this. Oh, that actually works really well. <laughs> this is uh, a better way of making facing sand that I wasn't doing before because I didn't have a mesh to run it through. The Petrobon is really sticky, especially in a fine grain like this. And I was really struggling with it before, but this is a great solution to that. So we might get better quality parts this time than we were getting last time because we can put a nice sifted facing sand on there and that makes the surface quality finer on the parts and gives us a better quality finish on the casting. And then uh, put in some of our backing sand here. Still try to break it up a little bit because there's some big chunks in here. We don't have our mulling machine yet, but we do, I did find one. I have to go pick it up. Okay, so that's probably pretty good. I'm gonna try to tuck in the parts without sliding them around too much here so we get a nice fill and finish on the back side. I got some texture on these. These are not just smooth printed, they have some ribs on the back that I'm hoping will turn into kind of like what a knurl would do for grip texture. So we'll see how these come out if it doesn't just stick to the pattern. Okay, let's do a pack on this since we're probably about halfway. can work with that. I think this is from uh, that little disturbance in the sand is because I tried to move it before I picked it up because it's kind of sticking to the table. And then these, the parting line for these is a little bit below the surface here. So I'm just going to go down a little bit manually to get to that. Get rid of our extra soft sand here. Okay, so now we have a nice clean cope side to work with here. The facing sand process again, since that worked so well. I'm excited about that. That was super annoying before. Look at this, look how easy that flows out of there. It was so hard before I gave up, I didn't even do it anymore for a while until I found this thing. This bucket system is kind of okay for now, but we're going to have to come up with something better for moving sand here. Kind of halfway here. Go a little bit lighter this time since we're tamping down on a, another side of the mold. We don't want to crush this sand into that sand. 
and there's not a lot of detail we have to get on this side. They're all just flat surfaces, so. We should start the furnace right now, so it's heating up while we're doing this. Open this up, see what we got to work with. Nice, that should work good. Work well. These are so small that they loosen up nice and quick. Try to grab both sides. Pull them out without touching here. Oh, see, that's cool. This one has the rib texture and you can see it in the sand. That's nice. I'm curious to see how that comes out, if the flow of the metal affects that or not. It, it might come out pretty clean. But that's what I want to see is if it works and if it does work how well, because I want to know if we need to make the ribs bigger or not to make it like a noticeable kind of bold texture on there but that might be enough we'll see i think we can go ahead and cut our sprues here we're going to go right through the part on these that worked really well last time because this the end of that boss there on the part gets cut away in the lathe anyway so we end up with a part that is fully cast on the finished surfaces. And this is kind of cool too. Look at this, how the sand comes out of the tube. This is not a tapered tube, but it works pretty good for, uh, comes out in a strip. All the loose stuff that's going to fall off when you close the mold or the metal flows in there is just going to make impurities. So I think we're good on the inside of this mold. It's usable the way it is and we'll need to cut some kind of pouring basin for these on the outside. Just by giving us a little bit of a, a lead in here on these guys. See how chunky this stuff is? And then last time I did a pouring basin in the middle. Uh, that seemed to work really well, so maybe we'll just do it again. Instead of cutting a bunch of them, we'll just cut one maybe and have it run into them. I think that'll be best. Aluminum seems to be really forgiving. If you can get enough volume into it, hot enough, with enough you know, feeding hot material, it, uh, it'll do pretty much whatever you want it to do is what it seems like to me. It's if you're too cold or you don't get enough feeding material to it to where your sprue cools before your your part does, then uh, you get all kinds of shrinkage and bad results. But the challenge with this is getting the sand all packed down so it doesn't get picked up in the low into the mold. Get some real pressure in there. Clean that out. This goes on here. There's a little 
hotter this time, I think. Let's see if we can get this out. Nice, look at that. That facing sand made a big difference. So this guy is blazing hot still, but we can kind of take a look at it. I want to see what the texture looks like on the back. Yeah, look at that. We got that ribbing going on the bottom. Yeah, look at that. Super clean. That's very impressive to me. Anyway, the facing sand is a huge help for getting all of that detail because I was not able to do that before. And then these are smooth. So these are much cleaner surface than I was getting before. So that's the cool thing about casting is there's a lot of improvements you can do and you can always try new stuff and make it better as you go. So those are nice and clean. Good to go. Super hot, but good to go. Nice.